Hi, we're the McKenzie family. I'm Shayla. I'm Evan. I'm Hallie. I'm Emma. And I'm Shane. Today's story point is the Holy Spirit gave Peter power to heal a man. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Big picture, question and answer. How the Holy Spirit help Jesus? The, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit comforts us, us, shows us our sins, and guides us as we live for God's glory. It's lesson time. Hello, my name is Miss Tasha, and I'm excited to get to share with you a story from the Bible today. And we know that everything in the Bible is true. And our true story today comes from Acts chapter 3. So if you have a Bible, you can go ahead and grab it and open it to Acts chapter 3. Um, before we get to our story, I have some things here I want to show you. First, I have an ice pack. I have some band-aids. I have some gloves. And I have this gauze pad. It's kind of like a band-aid. And I have these items. And these are some things that a doctor might use if someone was hurt. And sometimes doctors, they give us medicine if we're really sick to help us feel better. And in our story today, there was a man who was kind of hurt. He couldn't walk. And he was healed, but not by a doctor. Who do you think healed this man? Any ideas? Okay, well, let's get to the story so we can figure it out. Um, in our story, there are two men, Peter and John, and they are walking to go to the temple to pray. And as they're walking there, they pass by a temple gate. This gate is called Beautiful. And there they see a man. There is a man. He was sitting at the gate. And he was sitting there because every day his friends would pick him up and carry him and sit him there so that he could ask for money. Because this man could not walk. For his whole life, he was not able to walk. And so his friends, they brought him to the gate so that he could ask for help, so that he could buy food and take care of himself. And when Peter and John walked and saw the man, Peter said, look at me. And the man, he looked at Peter and John. And Peter said, I do not have silver or gold but what I do have, I will give to you. And that man, he probably thought that Peter was gonna give him money, but what Peter gave to him was Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So Peter, Peter said to him, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. And this man got up. He was healed, <laughs> it's a miracle. And this is what the Bible tells us, it says, so Peter took him by the right hand and helped him up. And at once the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. He went with Peter and John into the temple courtyards. He walked and jumped and praised God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. And they recognized him as that man who used to be sitting there. And those people who saw this, they were filled with wonder. They wanted to know how this man who once could not walk was now able to walk. They were amazed at what they had seen. And I want you to know something about this story. It wasn't magic that made the man walk. It was the power of God. And we learned in a previous story that the power of the Holy Spirit was given to the followers of Jesus. It said in Acts chapter one, that you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will tell everyone about me. That's what Jesus said to his believers. And in this story, we get to see how God used Peter and John to heal this man for the glory of God. And the Holy Spirit, we see in this story, was given to believers, given to people who love Jesus, who trust him and obey him. And that same power is the power that rose Jesus from the dead. So the Holy Spirit is God. And that spirit, that power from Jesus is what healed this man. Um, I actually, I learned a song recently 
that I want to share with you because I think that it will help you remember this story. This is a story that reminds us that Jesus is powerful and that loving him and trusting him and obeying him is powerful. And I hope that you will do that. But I'm going to sing you a song that my husband and my daughter taught me that will help you remember this story too. So in this song, we're going to pat our legs and clap. So we're going to go pat, pat, clap, pat pat, clap, pat, pat, clap, okay? So we're just gonna do that over and over again, and I'd love it if you would join with me, okay? So the song goes like this. Peter and John went to pray. They met a lame man on the way. He asked for alms and held out his palms, and this is what Peter did say. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. He went walking and leaping and praising God, walking and leaping and praising God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. You guys can practice that song at home. Do it together with your family so that you can remember this story and remember the power of Jesus. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Hey, I'm Ty. Hey, I'm Monica. Let's worship together through singing. Where would I run? to the throne of mercy where would i kneel but at this cross of grace how great the love how strong the hand that holds us beautiful so beautiful so here i bow to
forever yours. Memory verse. Hi, I'm Casey Longing and I work with our pre-KK students and I have our early childhood memory verse. God's power has given us everything we need to live a godly life. 2 Peter 1, 3a. Hi guys, my name is Jenny and I work with elementary kids on Wednesday nights and this is your key passage for this week. God's power has given us everything we need to live a godly life. All of this has come to us because we know the God who chose us. He chose us because of his own glory and goodness. 2 Peter 1, 3. Gospel message. Jesus died in my place for my sins and rose again to bring new life with God. It's time to pray. Hi, it's Amy and I work in elementary. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for allowing us the opportunity to reach out virtually to all of our kids. I pray that you speak through this lesson to help us remember that you are the ultimate healer. I pray that God keeps you and your family safe and healthy. Amen. See you next week.